one second time. In one second, how many waves are produced here? To say frequency of the wave. So in the same manner, time period, one of the definitions also there that indicates uh, what is that says? The time taken to produce one wave. The time taken, whatever the time taken. So how many waves to produce in the time? Only one wave to produce. One wave means one upper part and one lower part. This one has one wave. For this production, what is the time taken by the wave is said to be the time period. But it is difference of frequency. So what is the frequency? Number of waves produced in one second. A time is given. So what is the time? One second time is given. In one second, how many waves are produced? The constant as the frequency. So this frequency letter first indicate F. But this change to so in frequency distribution tables in mathematics also I use this letter F. That's why it is changed to M. Frequency is denoted by the letter M, small. But nowadays it will be changed. Some physical quantity standards are changed in Greek alphabets. So this now we have to use this Greek letter frequency that is said to be the nu. So it is called as a nu. So in IT class you know about this letter nu, but there is some interesting small v like we did it, but it is not v, it is read as a nu, nu. So it is a Greek letter. Now we have to use this letter nu, this is the frequency. There is a relation between this time period and frequency, that is nu is equal to 1 by t or otherwise t is equal to 1 by nu. This is the relation between frequency and time period. So this are important properties of the wave. Here also I have considered the property. Here what is that? Wavelength is considered. So wavelength of this denser medium now had considered as lambda 1 and the rarer medium is taken as lambda 1. Now, so what is the first point I have heard of Joe? The ray travels from denser to rarer medium. It moves away from the normal. Away from the normal. Away from the normal is one point. And another one is here when an uh, incident ray makes an angle with the normal is said to be the angle of incident that is I. Similarly, the refracted ray makes an angle of uh, normal is said to be the refracted angle. In this case, refracted angle is greater than that of the incident angle. Angle O is greater than angle I. So reverse, yesterday I told you, I is greater than O because Ray travels from rarer to denser, but in this case, ray travels from denser to rarer medium. Refracted ray is angle is greater than that of the incident angle. And one more condition to be considered here, V1 is taken in velocity in denser medium, and V2 is taken as velocity in rarer medium. In this case, V1 is less than V2, V1 is less than V2. I said on what told you, velocity of light is greater in rarer medium than denser medium. Same condition here also. Here V1 velocity in denser medium and V2 velocity in rarer medium. So therefore V1 less than V2 means V2 is greater than the of the V1. So we had observed these three conditions. So when ray travels from denser to rarer medium, moves away from the normal, angle of diffraction is greater than the of the angle of incident. Angle of, uh, sorry, <coughs> velocity in denser medium is less than that of the velocity in rarer medium. Okay. So this is some of the main properties of when ray travels from rarer to denser and denser to rarer. And another important one is the two way. It's a very very important property. Refractive index of the medium. Refractive index. So, no need to write the complete spelling, just to remember R I. Everywhere you write object, just to write R I. So, to remember R I means refractive index of the medium. Refractive index of the medium. What is this refractive index says? The speed of light, the ratio between the speed of light in vacuum and the speed of light in given medium is said to be the refractive index of that medium. So, it is the ratio between the speed of light in A or vacuum and the speed of light in the given medium is said to be the refractive index. This refractive index is denoted by the letter, actually it is denoted by the letter Greek letter mu, mu disease. 
mu. But so according to our syllabus, this is given as m, and is also given there. So whatever we consider, actually it is mu. So in higher classes, but object this letter, it's called as read as mu. Greek alphabet mu we have to use. But according to your book, it is given as n. So n is equal to n is equal to c by v. C by V, where C is velocity of light, velocity of light in A or vacuum. In A or vacuum is taken as C, and velocity of light, velocity of light in the given medium, in a medium, in a given medium, in a given medium is taken as V. In this two elements are very important from the n is equal to c by v application. So very important n is equal to c by v. Here the value of c is constant. The value of c is constant. What is the velocity of light in linear light will be constant value. So it is not given in the questions. Remember that. Only to observe c value. C is equal to 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. It's the velocity of light in a or vacuum. Okay. 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Same value you have to consider in centimeters. It is 3 into 10 to the power of 10 centimeter per second. 3 into 10 to the power of 10 centimeter per second. Or otherwise to consider 3 into 10 to the power of 5 kilometer per second. Kilometer per second. That means, what is that? 3 lakhs kilometer per second light travels 3 lakhs second is the very least unit of time. So we think that the light travels 3 lakhs kilometers. So the velocity of light in a or vacuum should be considered as 3 lakhs kilometer per second or otherwise 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Mostly this value to be remembered. 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. Okay. Otherwise, in kilometers to consider 10 into 10 to the power of 5. Now, uh, now we have to consider one simple problem on this. What is that? So, consider the problem. <coughs> Find the refractive index of glass. Glass refractive index we have to consider here. So, find the refractive index. So, we need to explain just to remember. All right. Refractive index of glass. Find the refractive index of glass if velocity or speed of light, speed of light in glass is 2 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. 2 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Velocity of light is given, glass is given as 2 into 10 to the power of 8. Other period velocities will be given, but velocity of light is constant value. So remember that. Now, what we have to calculate? Refractive index. Now, what is the application? First, we have the formula. N is equal to C by V. C by V. In this case, the value of C is constant. C is equal to 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. And the value of V is given in the question. What is that? 2 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. So, 2 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Then you have to calculate refractive index of the medium. Now substitute in the formula C is equal to oh sorry, N is equal to C by V 3 into 10 to the power of 8 by 2 into 10 to the power of 8. 10 to the power of 8, 10 to the power of 8 gets cancelled. Now N is equal to 3 by 2. So the refractive index of glass is 3 by 2. Remember the fraction. Otherwise, 3 by 2 means 1.5. And one more thing to remember, refractive index has no units. So whatever, for making confusion sometimes, the person will ask, what is the refractive index of a medium in SI units? So there is no unit for in any system, either SI, CG, SNKs, whatever the system to be taken, it has no unit. Remember that R I has no, because it is the ratio. Here the ratio between the Velocity of light in vacuum and velocity of light or speed of light. Speed of light in A and speed of light in given medium. It is a ratio. That is why no need to consider unit. So that is why refractive index has no unit.
things. Okay. Now, different materials having different refractive index values. So all the substances refractive index indices values are not same because this refractive index depends upon the nature of the material medium. If the material medium changes, their refractive index values also change. So remember that refractive index depends upon the nature of the material. So some refractive index values to be considered. In next class, we have to discuss about refractive index values. Okay.